Oh man, he's not helping me. He's just going and starting more fights. <sighs> See, he's more in trouble than he's worth sometimes. Hello and well met, fellow travelers of the Gamerverse. My name is Steady Annex, and welcome back to Surviving the Exiled Lands, where I have been very busy since the last episode when we reached level 30. Finally, um, that opened up many things for us. Uh, let's see what I did. I opened, I bought lots of stuff here. We've got Apprentice Tamer, and then I went ahead and got Tamer since we've waited so long to start doing that. Uh, the Sandstorm Mask, and I can't actually make the epic, yeah. You can't make epic stuff until you're level 60. So, you'll unlock the regular, but then you also unlock just the regular and then the epic versions. Um, something else I bought, do, 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 I don't remember. Steel, we got steel. Oh, I know what it is. So we're also, for weapon-wise, we, you saw me unlock the better axe. Um, also, what I should do is give my recruits better weapons, too. I can't make blunted or healing arrows, blunted or healing arrows. I think it's, uh, that's 35. And then healing arrows are level 38, so I'm going to have to wait on those. But I unlo unlocked Apprentice Weaponsmith, which lets you make damage kits, tool upgrades, blunted weapon fittings, simple reinforcement, and a pairing blade. And then in the armor side, I did the Sandstorm Mask and that uh, Apprentice War Armor Smith, so I can make thin armor plating, armor reduction kit, and simple armor flexibility kit Whew. so I decided to skip the animal pen which just took 300 stone 400 wood and 20 twine and go right for the reinforce so because we would just take down that one and put this one up anyway because they're so huge but that took 50 bricks 60 shape wood and 50 re iron reinforcements which is a lot <laughs> so that took a little while, but and it's crafted in the, the carpenter's bench. And then we did make our iron tools, our better battle axe. So we'll get that one, one for... Eh. I'm thinking about just making two-handed weapons um, that do more damage for my, my um, recruits. Finally, a sickle, and we'll just steal hatchet. And then for these, I generally, so you can make different things. The weapon damage kit and all that that I showed you a minute ago. Here, it's right here. So you make the blended weapon fitting, and I made two of those. And those are going to go on our truncheons. And then you can do the reinforcement kit, which means... The tools, if you can use it on tools or weapons, but it usually makes it so that your durability goes up. So if you have an axe with 450 and we put this reinforcement kit on it, it goes up to 500. So you can go out longer and not have to... I haven't modified a weapon yet? Wow. Well, that was a journey. So I like putting on my tools, even though you can do ones like the tool upgrade and this will help it be more efficient but I believe this takes the durability down a little bit so you might get a little more but you're gonna have to repair a lot more so I prefer just to just not have to repair as much and it doesn't give you much more like maybe one it's not worth it to me so I want to put the blended weapon kit on my weapon so let's see that's currently at damage 26 Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I can't make it yet. When you get leveled up more and you get to the next level of this, um, darn it. Let's look at it. 
of weaponsmith, you can make a... Maybe it's not till you're master. Spiked weapon fitting. And that makes it so that you're... It does armor penetration. Increased armor penetration. So you won't get bonus damage, but it'll make this axe, which does zero armor penetration, do some. So it is helpful. So that is something we'll have to wait to do. Where'd it go? Right there. Weapon damage kit. I can't remember what it was now. So 26. Boom. 26. What? Maybe you gotta go off and back on it. Yeah, 28. So it doesn't do much, but it gave me a little bit more damage. So that's good. And especially for your, your recruits, because they don't have durability to worry about. I didn't pay attention. I think the durability went down a little bit. Okay. So we've got our, our weapons all taken care of. I took my, my mask off to say hello to you, like I usually do. Okay, for armor, you can make... I didn't make it. So I made that sandstorm mask. And its weight is 3.15. I swear it was heavier than this. Hmm. But the set mask is like 0.3 or some 0.17. It's really light. And since you're always trying to stay light, it's nice for that. I didn't make them. Okay. And I, I generally just go for armor reduction. That's I don't care about making it stronger. I want I want it light as possible. So I will make five of those. We'll get that cooking while we do other things. Okay. I'm going to make a bigger box for this. I've just been putting all these in here. Um, actually, that's not where I want it. Yeah, these are weapons and... I don't know. I'm going to put this in here for now. And go show you this. Oh. Hey, he's done. He's done. And your girl can spoil. Oh man, just go outside and it's almost nighttime. So we've got our great or our wheel of pain that will hold four recruits. And with this we also get a torturer's table, which you can also put a recruit on. And you can make a better iron truncheon and rawhide bindings. These last a lot longer. And this works a lot better and knocks them out a lot quicker. So it'll, I don't know about a lot, a lot, but it, it's better. And now we put this blunted weapon fitting on there and that makes it do more concussive damage, which means it'll knock them out better. So that's awesome. So that is awesome. And I gotta figure out where I wanna put this, this big old, I'm gonna take this elevator down but I want to figure out where I want to put. I'm putting. I'm probably gonna put the tame pun right here. I guess that's where I'm heading with. So let's just let's see if it'll fit. <laughs> it's huge. I might just put it up on top of that ridge there. It's gonna cut down on even more kudo available. Goodness, this is so huge. It's hard to see. You know what I do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up here. Up here where I can see what I'm doing better. I, I probably still won't be able to see. <laughs> I know you can put it up here. My wife and I did that when we played in this area. Five. Oh, I'm going to fall. Hehehe. <laughs> Come on, work with me. If I'm going to make the base a little bigger, I'm worried. Because you can't pick these up either. So, I'd like to not have it up on this ledge if I can. You know what? We're going to go right there. Boom. Can't, can't stop me now. Ooh, took some damage. So now we got this huge pen to put some animals in. 
And then there's a hole and it shows you put an animal with some food and give it some time and it will be a different animal. <laughs> It'll be an animal that's tame. So, all right. So now we're going to have to go out and get an animal. There's plenty around here. And with that medium one, I can get like cats. Like they, they added lions, which was not a thing before. And look who's over here. Look who's over here. I told you you get bosses up here. There's a boss one. That's one of the tough boss. The brown boss ones are the tough ones that take forever. But you know what we could do? We could use both recruits because I could get one close enough. Plunker down and then have him follow. Get him angry and just make sure. And they'll both go after him. I might just do that. I like the the other ones. They're easier and they also give you demon blood, which is something we're going to need. So Cool. Let me get organized. Getting more stuff with my skill tools too. Twelve at a time. I was getting like eight or six or eight before. So this is good. Makes it so that as you progress, it goes quicker because you get collect more stuff quicker. So that is very good. And I love the new stacking system. Cause it used to be these would only stack to a hundred. So you'd need a, a bearer. I forgot to unload all this crap. A bearer thrall because they have so many slots. But now you can still, I just love it. You can harvest so much more without having to go back. And the durability on the steel pick is better too. So you can do it for longer. So it's all around good. All around good. This size of house is almost good. <laughs> it's a little too small. And when your recruits try to follow you in they go around so it's been a pain in the butt i need it bigger to where see so i i'm trying to unload him and he won't come inside where where where'd he go he's out back somewhere there you are it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a problem i don't like it there come on he gets to the door and then he then he goes around <laughs> jerk don't need you anymore. Don't need you anymore. Already moved the girl into the new one. There you go. Now we got a nice clean beach again. Sweet. What? I, what? I, oh yeah. Cool. I I end up just moving him, like making him stand guard to get him in there. It's it's not cool, cause he'll follow me up to here, and I just go, all right, now stand guard. Right here, so I can unload. Yeah, bigger house. He'll he'll zoom in here. He'll just zap right next to you, and you're like, "Hey, I can." Hey, we're at 31, so we can unlock steel cleaver and skinning knife too. And thanks to all this, I've never had to make a steel bar yet, because of all the the loot and the, the you know the chests in this town. It's just <laughs> I've I've needed I've got all the steel I need so far. So far, where's steel, steel, skinny knife, there's iron, there's steel, cool. So yeah, <laughs> I've never had to make a steel bar yet, but I probably should show you how. Um, you do it in the fireball cauldron, you need brimstone, and <laughs> I should probably remember how to make steel fire. So you need brimstone and tar. So that's one of the reasons why we're making lots of tar. Is to be able to make steel. So then you can make steel fire. If you craft those up, we'll craft one up here. We'll wait for it. We'll just wait because that's what we do. Oh my goodness. See, these take a while. So if you're going to be doing it, you want to... Yeah, you want to... So you see we got this uh, decorate yourself with more paint. Well... I was going to make it, but to make it, you need fur. And that means we need to go in the colder regions and kill things with fur. Actually, we might be able to get it. And we might test that out very soon. So with this steel fur, I think it's just one. And iron. Maybe it's two. Maybe it's um, one when you have a thrall in here. Alright, maybe I don't know what I'm doing. 
I thought it was just an iron bar and steel fire. There it is. I don't know what I didn't do anything. It just started showing the steel bar there. So I was right. It's a uh, two of two. So it's one per. We're still not getting it. How many does it take? So we're getting one out of that. Oh my goodness. It was like five. Oh, we, we need to get a, <laughs> we need to get a guy in here, a thrall, a recruit, somebody working for us. Cause that, that's a lot of iron. Good. All right. But that's how you make steel bars. I didn't mean to do it. We just got the journey for cleansing yourself from corruption. And I wanted to show you guys, this is where you go, but I, I, I messed up. So right up here is that chest. I didn't get that one yet. And the set priest area. That's right right by the base. So we're right by this. I was just getting some more of the, you know, you come around here and you can go the higher low route. If you go the low route, right at the bottom of it, there's two chests on top of this building, by the way, that I just got. I, I should probably, ooh, do a, a chest route that I've been using. They were there. <laughs> I keep falling, but they were there. So this building with the big eye on it with the snakes It has a special guest inside it Conan and Then there's always three dancers in here, and I believe they're always level three. You'll never get a named You'll never get less than three. They're always three and if It used to be that you could actually get these Pretty easy because they can't get past the stools but it looks like they got an extra area now. I don't know. They might come out here now. And they also have somebody out here now. Some people out here sitting around. Maybe you got to deal with them. Because there's a lot extra out here. You can't like close the door. And there used to be merchants in here. But now there's just one. Yeah. What will it be? You can get iced tea. May set guard your steps. Yeah. So you can talk to Conan. Um, so you live, and we meet again. Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around, seen your fill of these exiled lands? <laughs> it's not too late to get back on that crucifix. Any fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have the stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Ah! I'll be here a while. His wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half evil, but... I'm comfortable enough. If you have questions, ask. I wandered for a while after I pulled you from that cross. In the south, I found desperate souls and Dafari man-eaters. In the east, apes that walked like men among the overgrown ruins of an ancient city. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walked and the memories of ancient battles stain the sand. It stank of sorcery. So I left. I have traveled far and seen much. From the glittering ice of Asgard to the jungle expanses of the Black Kingdoms. I have been thief, pirate, and mercenary. But nowhere have I seen gods as I see them in this land. These Avatars that stalk and spread destruction in their wake. These are not gods. These are what men want gods to be. Weapons. Exactly. Try not to get killed. And his... Dude, your necklace is like in your neck. You should like take it off. You should have because now it's impossible. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. So he's three star, and you can't fight him. I, I don't think I don't I think somebody's tried. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. 
but the corruption system so when you go near the obelisk when you go in the undead city um and i showed you the the pit in the arena here you get corruption in there so you gotta get in and out as quick as you can and then how you cure it is an entertainment or a dancer and the higher level ones just do it faster but you'll see that i'm regenerating and losing corruption so they will remove corruption and all the corruption does is you'll see a purple bar at the end of your health and stamina meter that will get bigger and bigger and as you get more corruption that means you just have higher less um, higher max health and stamina less higher but you know what I mean so your max stamina goes down and your max health goes down so you can't take as much damage and stuff so and it was nice so now it's almost day cool and we can come up here because I want to introduce you to hopefully our new friend Baragos the Baker this is going to be hard guys I always say that, but hopefully we can contain him in this area and not involve these guys. Oh, a bear. I want one of them someday, too. <laughs> These two. I'd like at least a level three of them. Named is better. Hmm. We'll be back for the baker soon. I want to unload because I've been doing all this. We'll unload and stuff, and I'll, I'll be back. You know, for the cleaver and the skinny knife, I'm going to put the upgrade kit on them. So they'll, because I don't use them as much, so that way they get more instead. It's not much, but better than nothing. Okay, he's got a truncheon, I've got a truncheon. This might go bad. We've got this guy here too, an alchemist one. He won't be too bad, but uh, we're both just going to, we're just going to try and knock him out. We'll knock everybody we have to out, and then we'll go from there. He's just gonna block for me. Yike, yike. Shield, stupid. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding my own blood. Oh. And you can't heal while you're bleeding. Boo, dude. Is he gonna be able to do it without. Cool. I'm still bleeding. Stupid knives. See what I'm talking about, knives? Put those stacks on you. Now, this is when I should be using bandages. I could stop the bleeding with it. The new ones, the ones that are working on stuff, they don't seem to look at that. No, 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 no. He goes crazy. Look at that. Knocked him out that fast. <laughs> I forgot my bindings. I've got to go get my bindings. I could make some plant fiber ones. <laughs> See, he just goes crazy. He'll just knock it. Oh, come on, man. I don't want these guys because they're not archpriests. He's got to, he's just got to do it. I'm not a stamina. I'm not a stamina. Don't die being stupid. Oh, I wasted my healing. Because that, I'm using the, um, the Yogg stuff. Oh man, he's not helping me. He's just going and starting more fights. <sighs> See, he's more trouble than he's worth sometimes. So I got Get out of there. Ah. No, 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 no. These guys are all making me bleed too. Don't want to bleed. <sighs> All right, running away. And he's he's taking longer because he has a doesn't have his weapon on him. <sighs> I can't heal. Stop healing. Okay, I'm done bleeding. I'm using up all my good meat too. Well, the beginning of it was cool. Now he's just being a jerk. Being a jerk. Alright, well, can I make the bindings now? How many do I need? I need five twine, too. Great, great, just great. Might be quicker just to run back. Do I have a sickle on me? I do have a sickle on me. I'll do it the hard way. Um, 
stuck. Anyway, we got them. We'll make the bindings. We'll get them home. Yay. Getting another sandstorm coming in. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Which is why we just always carry this. Always carry it. I can't see a thing. These guys are a pain in the butt to kill when they're out. You can't use an axe because it takes forever. But if these guys wake up, if we walk by, they're just going to be angry and attack us. So a spear works pretty good. I just had a two-handed sword sitting in one of the chests from Luton. So I... Hey, look at that. I survived the sandstorm outside. You just got to survive long enough. You can actually get that if you're um, just going to a somewhere that's safe. Well, he ended up attacking everybody, and we um, we spent some time killing everything in the area. So it works out though, cause we need these. We're getting the. Uh, we're just making. You can make the brazier but I, I've got enough light right now but it's an easy way to get lighting and all we can make right now is these antidotes which whatever I just need the manifestation so I can end up upgrading it and I've been working on getting enough brick and um, stuff to be able to upgrade that as soon as it's ready why is this not going well why are you why huh why is that? Oh, there's only one under. Okay. I was going to show you something else. Oh, yeah. We did kill a, a, a bearer. And don't open the... They always have these supply materials. Don't open it until you're, like, near where you're going to do stuff. Because you never know what you get. You might get, like, a thousand rock. This time we got bone and feather. But you get a whole bunch. So it's kind of cool. So we got a whole bunch of bone. Look at that. 500 bone. 500 feathers we can make arrows if we wanted which like I told you you don't really need to do because these are junk we don't need to keep those iron arrows ivory arrows razor arrows steel arrows I mean just from raiding the, um, them and from the chest you get all the kind of stuff so he did good and with that sword instead of the truncheon, he was he was just mowing them down, and I I was just basically trying to keep up. So that's cool. It's very cool. You know, I never realized that I skipped an important thing here, showing you the difference between a, a level two fighter and a level three. So this level two has forty five hundred health, and this one has fifty two fifty. Now, if you got a level 3 from in the southern region, they'd have less health probably than this one. I don't know exactly, but they wouldn't have as good a health. As far as the armor and stuff, they're the same. It's both 281 because they're wearing the same armor. It's just the health, and I don't even know if they do better melee. So, now this food diet stuff is... Um, if you give them food before you fight, they no longer need to eat. They used to have to eat, so you'd keep a stack on them. But now they'll eat the whole stack in a second and waste your food. So this is, um, it'll give them a buff. So you, just before you go into battle, you can give them a piece of meat, and they will fight better for you. Just wanted to share. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Next time we'll go out and we'll find us, uh... Some animals, probably some, we'll start off with some hyenas probably, trying to get those tamed up, and we'll see how that works. And we need to start expanding our recruiting um, campaign here to get our troop working. We'll get some nice utility ones to help us with carpentry and blacksmithing and smelting and alchemy. And we need some more for the... When the purge comes, we're going to need more um, fighters to help us out with that. But that's not too, too worrisome. I'd like to get some utility ones to help us craft stuff quicker. So I hope you enjoyed your visit and your travels will bring you back this way. Until we meet again, keep it steady.